you know, a simple art challenge, you know, or a redraw for Usagi from Sailor Moon. Seems like fun, right? Something everybody can enjoy. Yeah, apparently those Puritans, though, no, they gotta suck the fun out of everything. <sighs> no, really, they have to suck the fun out of everything. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I actually had a family member come and visit me, so, you know, I was spending time with them, and it was very unexpected, one of those last-minute, hey, I'm here kind of things. And if any of you have family members that are like that, then, of course, you'll understand how that is whenever you have a family member just kind of pop up out of nowhere without letting you know, you know, kind of derails plans, but, you know, I can't complain, it was a pretty good time, so. You know, but while I was gone, there has been a bit of news, and we're going to be making up for that, and we're going to get into some of this news. So, the first thing here was, for those of you who may not know, the Sailor Moon Redraw Challenge happened a few days ago. And, you know, it was something that was meant to be for fun, you know, people to enjoy, have fun drawing Usagi from Sailor Moon. Which is Sailor Moon herself, of course. Now, of course, the Puritans got involved here because they get upset with everything. And they have to, you know... Do whatever they can to ruin things for people, right? So just some guy, this is what he stated, shout out to him. He said, daily reminder, SJWs ruin everything. And you know what? He's absolutely right. So this is where it all started with this one tweet where this guy, he did a drawing of Sailor Moon. Now, it looks really good, very realistic. And this is what he stated. As a Sailor Moon fan, I feel obligated to participate in this challenge. And, you know, for those who did awesome and there's some really good art out there it really is so he did a couple of them you could see the comparison of the first shot and the second shot he did one with her having brown hair now it looks pretty good i have to say i really enjoy this but then you have people that goes you made her look japanese yes and this is where it all went downhill because this is where the puritans jumped in pushing their agenda so this is what they were saying, trying to ruin the fun for everyone when everybody was just looking at this as, it's an art challenge. They come in here and they try to push their politics, as always. So this is what they started saying after that. So many people whitewasher in this challenge. Thank you. This is beautiful. Well, she was already white AF. And then another person came in and said, no, she was Japanese from the start. So then another person comes in and says, Thanks for this! This is more racially accurate than the actual show! Another person then stated, The show isn't meant to look racially accurate. None of anime is meant to look like that. Now see, here they are, and what they're doing here. These people are coming in here trying to push their politics. Because they're trying to then say that Sailor Moon was always whitewashed. Um, no. <laughs> no, she wasn't. I don't know what these crazies are going on about. You can definitely tell that they are not fans of anime. Now, I like this statement here. This person came in and said, Leave it to Westerners to ruin the Sailor Moon Challenge. And that's exactly what happens. You have these people. They jump in. They look at this. And considering that, of course, people were having fun with this challenge. You know, many artists were redrawing Sailor Moon. Then what happens? They jump in to push their politics. That's exactly what they did. This is absolutely ridiculous, but this is also the very same thing that when you look at these people that come in here, these Puritans, the Puritans themselves, they're not actually fans of anime. They're just coming in here to try to push their politics to ruin people's fun, and that's not what it was about. It was just about drawing a character that people know and people enjoy. That's all it was. It's absolutely ridiculous. So this person had a good quote here. This basically sums it up, and if you look at the quote here, and then what they say afterwards, so look at the quote in just a second. They say, the art is not bad, just the tweets coming from the users. I just wanted to provide context and avoid confusion, which is true. The art was very good, and I actually liked it. I thought that the artist that did this was very good with their art. Now, of course, looking at what this person posted up here after that, it said, it's a Japanese anime created by a Japanese woman drawn in Japan. She is Japanese. They live in Japan. How is this whitewashing? See, that's the thing. Yusagi's character, she is from Japan and Sailor Moon. There is no whitewashing here. For these people to say that, that she looks like she's whitewashed, that's absolutely absurd. 
And if they were even actual fans of anime, or fans of Sailor Moon for that matter, then they would know that she was not whitewashed. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely ridiculous. And these people are so stupid and delusional. I mean, to seriously come in here and try to throw their politics in just at an art challenge that people enjoy. To help people just have fun to draw. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, people just want to have fun. Don't come in here and push your politics because that's not what this was about. This was about drawing a character that people enjoy for fun. That's all it was. And then these people come in here and push this crap. It's ridiculous. So, more people commented, To be fair, trying to do a different art style isn't ruining the challenge. But praising it like, oh thank god she finally looks Japanese is a weird effing take when it's Japanese art to begin with. And then the person responded, I think the tweet may have gotten in lost translation. I just thought context would be needed for the tweets. I don't have a problem with the art. And then another person comes in and says, I wouldn't exactly say it's bad per se. Now, the art, it's not bad. As you saw, the image is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think the person did very good on their art style. And many people just wanted to do this for fun. That's all that it's about. I mean, when you look at it, you look at all the different art, people enjoy it. But, you know, whenever you come in here and you do this stuff, you're ruining people's fun. You're taking them out of what they enjoy doing. You know, art is also a way to escape reality, to escape problems. I'm an artist. You know, I know these things. I'm someone that whenever I focus on drawing something, I have a good time, and I want to focus on that. I don't really want to focus on what's going on around me as to where I want my imagination to run wild, you know, just have a good time with it. And then when I look at other people's art, I truly do enjoy it. I mean, I love seeing people's art. And when you do this stuff, you anger people. I mean, look at this, for example. This person said, I'll reply to this with my own redraw. And it shows I'm tired of this BS. I mean, yeah, I mean, who wants to go in there and just see this crappy spewed all over the place. Nobody wants to hear this stuff. Ever. You know. And more people came in saying, The leap from harmless fun to forced politics is both astounding and infuriating. In which it is. It's absolutely frustrating to see this happen. And you can see how this upset other people. Because people were not happy to see these Puritans jump in here and shove their politics down their throat. It's not good. And nobody likes it. I love this one though. Silence Western Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, that's a fantastic thing. And, you know, to, you know, change this from harmless fun to a good time. People showing their own creative styles and then to throw politics into it. It's absolutely annoying. Nobody cares to hear that stuff. Nobody wants to hear that stuff. You know, that's not something that people want to hear. You know, you're throwing them out of the immersion of what they're doing at that point when you do that stuff. And that's why people are frustrated with it. I mean, if you look at this art here, these people really put in good time and dedication into it. Very beautiful art and very fantastic. And, you know, this is something that I enjoy myself. You know, while I am an artist, I love seeing other people's art styles. And you can see the beauty in all of it. And I wanted to point out some of this art here to show you how wonderful some people can really be. You know, you have these Puritans that are absolutely frustrating when they try to push this stuff. but then. You can see that there are some people who just do wonderful art, you know, show their own creative flair to things. Because, you know, each artist has their own form of creativity, you know, they have their own style. And this is the beauty of people's artwork here. You know, people have so much creativity, and it's wonderful to share that with the world. And to not have to worry about stupid forced politics that nobody cares about, right? And, you know... It just, it takes you out of the immersion when people do that. And it's frustrating. And nobody wants to hear it. Nobody cares to hear it. One art piece that I thought was really interesting was these. You know, you see one where she's a Gundam. Another one where she's based off a of Persona style. Another one which is a JoJo reference. And then another one which is Fire Emblem. You know, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. You know, these artists are so creative with what they've done. And I absolutely love it. And eventually, whenever I get a working camera, I'll be sure to share my art of Usagi as well. And, hey, we can't forget the beautiful one. The Neo Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that, that, when that was sent to me, that was gorgeous. Magnifique, right here. This one, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's got a special place in my heart, if you know what I mean. But, 
You know, more issues occurred, though, because one person had to come in here and say, Isn't she 14? And a person responded with, 14, yo, in 1992. I think she should be saved. Now, thing is, this is a fictional character we're talking about. So people are getting upset over artwork, also, of a character that, yes, while in the series, she is 14, and some anime do tell you the ages of characters, some don't. But, you know, this is just a piece of art. That's all it is. They have a problem with somebody's art because they did a not-safe-for-work art, and people were upset with it. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, if Sailor Moon, Yusagi herself, if she was a real person, let's just say what if, if she was, she'd be 42 years old right now. 14 in 1992, yeah, she'd be old enough to be their mom. I'm just saying. But remember, it's fictional characters. You know, the only rights that fictional characters have is copyright. <laughs> Aside from that, fictional characters are fictional characters. But of course, the Puritans, they never understand that, nor will they ever. You know, instead of actually trying to fight fights that actually have to do with people that are actually, you know, hurting in other countries, that are actually, you know, in a lot of pain themselves, or suffering in some way, rather than doing that, oh no, what do these Puritans do? They have to fight over a battle about a fictional character that there's nothing wrong with. <laughs> you know, they do this all the time. They make up these stupid battles that make no sense, they fight, and then they try to ruin everybody's fun, because they themselves, if you know how Puritans work, they're miserable. And what they have to do is they have to try to make other people miserable. So they try to ruin their fun whenever they know that people are having a good time because they take joy in others' misery. And that's what they like to do. That's what these Puritans are all about. They're not real anime fans. They couldn't care less about anime. In fact, the only thing that these Puritans enjoy is to try to ruin everybody else's fun, you know, so that they can be miserable just like they are. That's what they do. You know, they say that they're about equality. You know, they just shout, Oh, equality! Yes, we want it! They're not about equality. They couldn't care less about it, just like how they don't care about other countries' cultures because they always try to push their values onto other countries, which is absolutely ridiculous because they shouldn't be doing such a thing, but that's what they do. And for them to come in here and try to ruin everybody's fun by just drawing and having a good time with art, yeah, that's ridiculous. These Puritans, you know, more and more people are waking up to this. They're seeing these Puritans' actions, and you know what? Nobody wants to listen to these Puritans' nonsense. So what the Puritans should do is they should shut up and they should let everybody have their fun. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always do better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.